Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be showing you our second lesson in choosing coordinate systems. If we take a look at this part that we have here now on our screen, you'll see it may be similar to what we had before, but you'll note now there are no flat areas around the part, maybe at the bottom. So sometimes uh, choosing a face may be difficult. So what we can do is as follows. We can actually first go into stock before we go into define. Click on stock. And define a box automatically around the part. By simply clicking on the part, a box will be created around the part itself. I have co complete control of the size of the box. Um, as far as sticking out past the limits of the part, I just want to set these right now at zero, as shown here. And now what I'd like to do, since this box right now is just a virtual box, I'd like to change it into a physical box. So all I have to do right now is simply click on the button that says Add Box to CAD Model. The moment I do this, what actually happens is it creates a 3D sketch around the part itself. Even if I don't accept my stock, the box is still physically around the part. And I actually, actually use this to help me create a home position, a coordinate system for my part itself. Now let's take a look how I can use this box to help me create my coordinate system. I'll go back now into define coordinate system and instead of choosing the option where I choose of select face, I'll choose the option of define. What define does, it allows me to choose my origin point, my x direction, and y direction. Since I now have actual an actual box around the part, I can actually base my coordinate system on this box itself. I'll simply click on define origin click on that corner over there you'll note that this automatically drops down to my X direction and I'll pick my X direction say on this corner over here and my Y direction this corner over here and I've now simply created a coordinate system without having to choose by selecting face which in this particular case may have been a little difficult for me to do now the rest of the options that I had when I did select face are now available to me as well. Now it should be noted that since I did not choose my uh, coordinate system by clicking on the part itself or any of the faces of the part itself, when I accept my coordinate system and I get into my coordinate system data, these values are not automatically updated. I would have to go in and actually click on the areas as where I want my part lower, upper, those do not come automatically when I choose it on the box itself because it I did since I did not select the, the part itself, it does not know any information about that particular part. Now another option we have in creating a coordinate system, first of all we can create more than one coordinate system in a part simply by right clicking over here I can simply say add and I can go back and create a new coordinate system a second coordinate system using what we call MAC coordinate system 1 and with the second position on that MAC coordinate system or changing it to new, uh, the 2 which will make a new MAC coordinate system now one of the other options we have here is something called normal to curve Say there's a specific position I want to keep my part in, and this is particularly useful when I'm choosing uh, a home position for a fifth axis indexial part. Say there's a, a particular position which I want to work on, but there is no uh, normal to that. I cannot create any kind of the box, but I can simply say, you know what, if I bring my part to this view here, for example, that's the view I want to have as my Z normal to that particular view. All I have to do right now is simply click on normal to current view. The moment I do that, I have the box here saying capture current view coordinates. Clicking on that 
automatically will give me a coordinate system that is the dz is perpendicular to this particular view the moment i say okay i have a new coordinate system based on that coordinate system that i've chosen to according to that view if i were to go into my define and now you can see my list i have my first position and i have my second position if i did normal the xy view to that position you'll see that's the exact position that i've captured for my uh coordinate system in this particular spot now one more option that we have here is choosing coordinate system by using the actual coordinate systems of SOLIDWORKS itself if i were to create a new coordinate system we have here an option called select coordinate system the moment i choose this i have the list of all the coordinate systems that are created in solidworks itself in this particular case i have one here i'll simply click on that one coordinate system which happens to be in the top middle of the part itself simply say okay and now i have my coordinate system based on the coordinate system of SOLIDWORKS coordinate systems. Thank you for joining us on SOLIDCAM Professor. Take care and have a nice day.